Hi everyone, it's Patty, the Family Consumer Sciences Agent, and this week I really wanted to do a little something different. So I decided to step out of my realm a little bit and do some closet clean out, quarantine style um, organization. So I have purchased some stuff off of Amazon that really helped me clean out my closets. And I was going to share you guys, share with you guys some of that stuff. And I also took some videos of me cleaning out my closets. Um, we live in a, we live in an interesting style house. Um, it's an A-frame log house. It's, it's tall, but it's not very wide. So our closets are kind of smaller. We have a lot of closets, but they're just small. And so it's taking me a few years to figure out how to organize them, but I really think now I figured it out. Um, so I, this is a vulnerable post. You guys are going like into my deepest, darkest, darkest closets and it's embarrassing, I won't lie, but this is real. This is quarantine, and I thought maybe I could help someone out. So, um, I'll probably just take a few pictures and talk talk about them um, a little bit more. And, um, cause I don't want to take too many videos. I feel like it might be a little boring, but I did two closets. I did our hall closet, which has our linen in it. Um, we don't have a big bathroom, so we can't keep our towels and stuff in there. So our hall closet really falls to just everything, you know, the extra cleaning supplies, extra bathroom stuff, your towels, your bed sheets, and just stuff that you really don't have another place for it to go. And then I also did our bed, my bedroom, um, closet. Um, our bedroom closet is too small for my husband's stuff to go in, so his stuff is in another closet. But he's a man, and his stuff is just... I mean, he doesn't have a lot of stuff where I have shoes everywhere in this house and just clothes. So, I did both of those closets and um, I did take a little time-lapse videos with you guys, for you guys. So, uh, I will post some links or some pictures of some of the stuff that I found that could be useful in different closets. And then I'll post what I used and just some some things that I did to help me get rid of stuff. So, I hope you enjoy and I hope this is useful to some of you. The first thing I did was empty the closet out. After I had everything emptied out of the closet, that's when I went through everything and threw away a bunch of stuff that I do not use and I do not need. I put the rod up and took the shelves out because I got some hanging bins off of Amazon that were going to work better for our closet. After I got the bins hung into the closet, I got a little excited and decided to go ahead and start putting the towels in them. I later learned that this was not my best decision. I decided to go back through and go through my stuff one more time. I think I had kind of got a little excited and started to just throw stuff into the bins. And so I went through some of my bags because I have an insane collection of bags and realized that I needed to go back to my towels. I hung them up, um, I folded them differently and hung them up a little bit differently to help me save some space. Once I had finally gone through all of my stuff that was in the closet, I finally could better gauge how things needed to go into the closet and what space I needed it to go in just for accessibility purposes. I started cleaning out this closet the same way I did with the hall closet. I just took everything out even the clothes and I decided to organize all the clothes by seasons and dresses. This way I could hang them back into the closet a little bit more organized. I also had to think about how they were going to hang over the 
shelf that I bought. So I needed things that were not as long to hang over the part where the shelf is. I also went through my clothing and I tried things on. Um, this is the year after I had a baby and I really just needed to do the uncomfortable thing and try things on and I ended up getting rid of quite a few things and that helped a lot. 